Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. I'm your host, Mike Briggs, where we come here every day to tell you what's going on good in Fresno, good in the valley, all over the valley. We have so many great things happening, so many talented people. And uh, this is a place to tune in to meet them and see what's going on. Our next next guest is Richard Lee. Welcome, Richard Lee. How are you doing? You have been on the show more than almost anybody since back in 2008, yeah. all the way back to the Chuck Leonard days. Yeah. And uh, you and Chuck had some good exchanges. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that, in that, day. that was fun, yeah. So you're a comedian. Yes, I am. Got any, uh, have you been, now, let me ask you this. What did COVID do to the uh, comic community did they have to just shut down comedy shows i think they had to do some some of that yes yeah. how did it affect you uh i had to stay home had to stay home yeah. did you get covid by the way i did get covid recently yes yeah how was that is that a pretty bad thing yeah it, it, it really is it's terrible not a very good thing to have if you're... right right now um comedy shows have been on the uh slow down because of COVID and people just can't go out and be in close quarters. Have you, has that given you some free time to develop some new comedy? What do you got new going on? Well, I, I can do, um, well, Tony Dow just died, I think it was last year. Tony and, Dow from Leave it to Beaver, the yeah, older brother, right? Yeah, yeah the, and uh, Ken Osmond died. Who is that now? The Eddie Haskell. Eddie Haskell died. died too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he was also a policeman. He was a cop in real life, huh? Yeah. He, yeah. Um, Imagine that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. Eddie Haskell becomes a cop. So, so there's Wally, Beaver's brother, and Eddie Haskell. Yeah, and then Barbara Billingsley died a couple of years ago. Was she the mom on that yeah. show? Yeah. Yeah, Barbara Billingsley. And uh, um, got any impersonations of them or any comedy yeah. about that? Um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do you have some impersonation? Yeah, I can do Eddie Haskell. Oh, Eddie Haskell. Let's hear that. We all know what Eddie Haskell. And, we all... and Wally. And, okay. And Wally and uh, Jerry Mathers, yeah. Jerry Mathers, that's right. And Jerry well, Mathers is still alive, yeah. He's still alive, yeah. Which one are you going to do the impersonation of? All three of them. Right now? Yeah, I can do it. Want to hear it? Yeah. One, guys, want to hear uh, Leave It to Beaver? Yep. <laughs> so, so let's leave it to Beaver. Well, Beaver. What's it like in heaven? Well, Beef. Well, gee, Beef, are you giving God the business? <laughs> um, are you really giving God the business? Because I'm still alive in Earth, and you're looking to, and, uh, and uh, are you guys looking down on me? Because I'm still alive. Uh, Wally. Well, gee, Beef, it's really nice in heaven with God and me and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Haskell's in heaven, too. Can you do a little Eddie Haskell? Well, Squirt, you know, it's, we're, uh, we're just looking down on you, Beef. It's, uh, because you're still alive. You're over 70 years old now, Squirt. <laughs> squirt. <laughs> that is what Eddie said, wasn't it? Now, uh... Uh, so Eddie Haskell uh, uh, and Mrs. Cleaver, you're looking very fine now, because <laughs> you're in heaven, and you're very looking very fine with that dress, Mrs. Cleaver. Well, thank you, Eddie, because <laughs> uh, I'm much younger now. <laughs> <laughs> now during this COVID break, did you get to watch some Leave It to Beaver, <laughs> the the TV show? <laughs> Did you watch some of the TV show yeah. recently? It, yeah, they have that a sequel. Yeah. My, that boy is always seems perfect. Well, Ward, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> now you said uh, I've heard you do some impressions of presidents over the years. Yeah. And let's see, when you first came on the show, I forget who was president. Maybe Reagan or Bush or one of those guys. But how about Biden? Is he hard to impersonate? Not really. He's can you do some Biden for us? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. I messed up Afghanistan. Uh, I've, I've signed bills. I have no idea what I'm signing. And I think I've lost my mind. <laughs> because my, I think my mind is gone or is going away. And I, I don't know how to, I have to kill running away to get my mind. <laughs> 
Now, what what about Biden and this big balloon? Did you hear anything about? Oh yeah, that balloon. Uh, I told him to shoot the balloon, and I'm acting like I'm five. <laughs> like I'm five. Did, uh, did in the day? Did you do a Trump impersonation? Is yeah. He, is he hard to do? No, no. no. It was, well, it was. It took me a while to get Trump down. Yeah. And I got them to say, get a BB gun, but instead they got an AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> that Biden, he always overshoots it a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah. What do you hope to be doing coming up? you see some comedy shows in your future? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, a friend of mine said uh, I should uh, go audition for America's Got Talent. That'd be fun. I don't know if I could go on there, though. Yeah. I don't know if they've ever had auditions in Fresno. Would you go to L.A. and try that if you needed to? If if I had transportation, I I'm, I'm, I'm maybe think about it. Yeah, it would be fun. I mean, it's a shot, you know, once in a lifetime chance. I think do it. My friend was on that one the other day where they sing. Uh, she was from Fresno. She did pretty good on that. So, um, I, I also do Optimus Prime. What is Optimus Prime? The tran on the Transformer. Oh, the Transformer. Okay, let's do here's some Optimus Prime. Automots, roll out. I am Optimus Prime. <laughs> Megatron must be stopped at all costs. No matter the cost. Megatron must be stopped. Mm. I am Optimus Prime. <sighs> You're so good at voices. you got a good ear for voices. Maybe you could be one of those guys who does the voiceovers in animation. You could yeah. be Optimus Prime, for yeah. goodness sake. I would love to meet Peter Cullen. Is that who did that role, yeah. that voice? Yeah, yeah. He does, he's the voice of Optimus Prime. Have you ever gone to any Comic-Con or anything no, like that? No, I'm not that crazy. But that's where you could really meet yeah. some of those guys, huh? Yeah. yeah. They dress up in crazy suits and they're tired and everything. Any jokes? Got any fresh jokes? Uh, let's see. My name is Richard Lee, and Young Lee, and uh, and I'm not rich. I'm, I, tra I changed my name to Richard Poor. So it's poor now, and poor, and my, my middle name is young. I'm not young no more, so it's old, so it's poor old. I don't know karate, so it's, my cousin is Bruce, so I don't really know karate. So if you ask me, I'll probably kick your butt if it, it's Richard Poorly. <laughs> Richard Poorly. And Bruce Lee might be your cousin, huh? <laughs> yeah. So Richard Poorly. Yeah. <laughs> poorly. Now I you told this joke and I think about it all the time because it's so funny. You went into the store, turned something yeah. on. Oh, okay, tell I, that. I went to the grocery the Asian nine nine cent store the other day and I picked something up and it said made in China. And I looked at it. It said hit me. I made that. Yeah. <laughs> I made that. Yeah. I made that. <laughs> I made that. Yeah. <laughs> I made that. Okay. We're almost out of time, Richard. Do you have anything else you want to share with us? And, uh, well, we want to hear Trump, too? Or? Yeah, I would like to hear Trump, yes. Well, this is huge. They should have shot that balloon. Oh, that was a tragedy. You know, Biden is a terrible, terrible person. You know, he touches women, and, uh, he, and he doesn't even know it. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna go out and win this thing in 24, and and become the next president. Oh yeah, it's gonna be huge, you know. And I'm still friends with Ron DeSantis. <sighs> <laughs> That's right. He did say that. Uh, uh, how do you see the election turning out? Trump versus Biden. I'm gonna beat him to a pulp. <sighs> it's gonna be huge. <laughs> Very good. So you got Biden, you got Trump. Who was even president before Trump? I don't even remember. Anybody funny? Obama. Obama. Did yeah. you do Obama? Yeah. I thought you did a pretty good Obama. I, yeah, like Obama. Like now, you know, I know. You know, I'm Barack Obama. No, I know. You know, uh, I'm Barack Obama. No, I know. Um. If you vote for me, I don't care. I'm Barack Obama. So, vote for me, and you know, if you're black, you can vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that's like uh, four, 16 years versus, uh, 
worth of presidents there. That's a lot of presidents you covered. And I hope the next president is somebody that you'll be able to impersonate too. What if it's a woman? A woman? Oh. Would that be harder for you to impersonate? A woman? Um, let's see, like Nikki Haley or something? Nikki Haley or Hillary Clinton or... Clinton? Uh, Clinton? Yeah. I don't think Clinton's going to run anymore. <laughs> She's right done. I stumped you with those. Mm. So who it could it be? It could be Kamala Harris, Nikki Haley. Who knows who uh. the next president is? <laughs> is that Nikki Haley? That was uh, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Okay, do that one more time. <laughs> Uh, all right, Richard, we are out of time. Anything else you want our viewers to know? Anything else you want to share with us? Uh, well, Kermit the Frog here. Not easy being green. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty good, Kermit. Now, I got to warn our viewers, Richard's going to be driving home, so stay off the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I told your driver, let you drive this time. That'd be fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We, uh, this is Central Valley Talk. Our guest is Richard Lee, the person, uh, oh, go ahead. The person who's been on our show more yeah. than anybody ever. Go ahead, yeah. Richard. Look me up on Richard Lee Stand Up Comedy, okay? Check me out, all right? Just type Richard Lee Stand Up Comedy, all right, folks? <laughs> go to Richard Lee Stand Up Comedy. Richard Lee, the comedian, we'll be back. Click with and subscribe, all right? Thank you. <laughs> Click and subscribe. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this. <laughs>